Hey there, I'm Tara Lunsford, and you're watching a review of Adam Wilber's Grandfather's Spinning Top. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tyler Lunsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Now if you're new here then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel like past reviews. Now if you are new here then welcome, thank you for stopping by and spending some time in today. I really do appreciate it so thank you so much. You didn't have to click on my face but I'm glad you did so thanks for being here. Today we're looking at something really cool, a levitating top that also vanishes that could close your show that you're going to learn more about as we talk about it in this episode or this review show. So I'm super excited to get into it. Thank you so much for being here. And if you want to help support the channel, I'd, I'd love it. I really would. It means the world to me. You already mean the world to me for watching, but you mean an extra world to me. Like, you'd mean Earth plus, like, all the other planets out there to me. That's what you'd mean to me. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be cute? Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and if you do want to support, like I mentioned earlier, you can check out my website, TylerLunsford.com. There I have merch for sale. It's free, free worldwide shipping on all the merchandise, shirts, hats, whatever you want from the merchandise section. Grab it. I'll ship it to you for free. What else can I say? I mean, it, it just you know, come on, join the crew. You can be a member on Patreon. It's super cool. Great benefits. Okay, I'm going to quit rambling. We're getting into the review right now. First off, you need to know what actually is Grandfather Spinning Top. Well, Grandfather Spinning Top is a levitation effect for the professional and hobbyist alike. Insane visuals, a powerful storyline, and a killer surprise ending that ties it all together in a magnificently poetic way. As many of you know, levitations are one of the most powerful things you can show an audience. In fact, they're so powerful that most professional magicians use them as their closing effect because it's just too strong to try to follow with anything else. With Grandfather's Top, you'll tug at the heartstrings of your audience while at the same time showing them something they've never seen before. The main problem with a close-up levitation is the lack of a climactic ending. Once the object has levitated for a bit, there isn't much left to do except hand it out for examination and then close the routine. We've always felt that there could and should be something more. Something to add a big ol' exclamation point at the end of the routine so it doesn't fall flat. Grandfather's Top starts with a wooden bottle cap top and a small cardboard box. As the story progresses, your spectators watch as the top starts to take on a life of its own, floating from hand to hand and then all around your body. At the end of the performance, the wooden top vanishes in midair, only to be found back in the box that it came from that's been on the table the entire time. This is the perfect ending we've been searching for. If you're looking for a real showstopper for your close-up sets, then Grandfather's Top may be just the trick for you. Let's talk about what you'll be receiving if you decide to purchase it. We'll be getting a custom-made spinning top gimmick and a switching box device with everything you need to float it like a pro, plus over an hour of detailed video instructions from the inventor himself, Adam Wilbur. This project is taught in extreme detail, so that way you can start floating like a pro regardless of your skill level. Now that you know what Grandfather's Spinning Top actually is, and you know what you'll be receiving, let's talk about some more questions such as how difficult is it to perform? Grandfather's spinning top is not that difficult to perform if you've done any levitation work in the past. If you've done any levitation work in the past then you know pretty much the method that this is using. It's not really that different as far as method goes. What I did like about this is that I've never really learned a ton about you know levitating certain objects. It's just not really my thing and because I don't really like working with this method which you, you know what it is. You really do trust me. If, if you've done anything like this you know. But what I do like about it is that Adam's going to teach you how to quickly make up 20 different gimmicks that you need, you know, for like, let's say you're going to do 20 performances one night. He's going to teach you how to quickly make them up so that we in, in a proper way to store them and carry them also, which I found really helpful. So I liked that as well. So if you've never done any levitations, this is perfect for you because Adam's going to walk you through it in extreme detail, which I really did appreciate because I don't have a ton of levitation experience. That all being said, if you've never done any levitations in your life, you will absolutely be okay buying this because Adam is going to tell you how to do it and you will learn how to do it with ease and once you get it down you practice it for a little bit then you'll have this down. It's not too difficult. How are the angles for Grandfather Spinning Top? The angles are pretty good for the most part. What I mean by that is once you make the spinning top actually vanish then you might have some angle issues to, to worry about but until you get up until that point you're angle proof. Now once you do make the spinning top vanish you can, you can make it vanish in your favorite way possible. Adam's going to teach you multiple different ways to make it vanish, and you will have to go out and buy something extra for it if you don't have it at home, but he's also going to teach you a way to do it without buying anything extra. So if you want to do it the way that Adam shows in like the trailer, then you need to go and buy something extra. Or you might have it lying around, but you'll probably need to go buy something extra. But if you want to do it that way, he's going to teach you how to do it. If you don't want to do it that way, he's going to teach you other ways so you don't have to spend any extra money if you don't want to. 
I mentioned that you have to worry about your angles after you make the advantage, but I never really told too much about, you know, what do you actually have to worry about. Let's just say that for the advantage to look the best and for it to happen, you need to keep your audience in front of you to do it the way that Adam does it in the trailer. You'll also receive enough supplies with the package, so that way you can perform this levitation about 10, 12, 15 times, depending on how tall you are. Once you run out of that supplies, you can buy more from your favorite dealer, or you can buy it from Adam if you like the the stuff that they're using, you can buy it from volpinecreations.com. How's the setup per performance? The setup per performance is gonna be done ahead of time. Now, this is probably gonna take you a minute to do, and when I say you have to like make something or you know set it up, there's no construction involved or any type of like gimmick building, more just like separating certain things and making them compact and easy to carry. I don't know how to say anything more without giving too much away, but that's all I'm going to say. You will be taught how to make these up ahead of time and carry them around with you for your working gig or your show or whatever you're doing, restaurant, walk around, whatever. You're going to be taught how to do it. Is this examinable? Yes, the top is examinable ahead of time because they actually are the ones that take it out of the box and kind of put the top together. So yes, it's examinable then, and also it's examinable at the end because you make it vanish and reappear back in the box. That way they can examine the one that comes out of this box as well at the end. So yes, it's examinable the whole time unless the magician's holding it, which they can't examine it if you're using it, so it's completely fine there. One more thing about examinability, the box itself is not examinable. I mean, they can hold it, you know, you can hold it and let them take the lid off and then they take the pieces out of the box, but them actually holding the box, I wouldn't let them hold the box and examine it thoroughly, but what's in the box, the top, they can examine while they're holding it and stuff, but the actual box wouldn't let them thoroughly examine that. Are there any negatives or things you need to know about grandfather's spinning top? Well, let's talk about it. What should you know before you purchase this? You need to know that this uses a certain levitation system that is a classic in the levitating plot when it comes to levitating small objects. This uses that. You know what it is if you're watching this video and you've ever done anything relating to levitation with smaller objects, you know what I'm talking about. So, if you're against that kind of system, you probably need to be careful about what you're buying because this uses that system. Now, if you're into levitations, doesn't matter. You're used to that. But I'm just warning you, that's what it uses. A small negative is that the Vanish looks incredibly good. I mean, in person, it looks great too. It's gonna look really good. But the issue is that after you do the Vanish, you're kind of left in an awkward body movement and you don't want to seem awkward like you know, parts on your body are out of place, looking kind of awkward with your movement. You're like, you're trying to hide something. So that's really my only negative about the Vanish. I think it looks really cool. And that's also if you do the one that he teaches you. If there's a couple different ones that he teaches where you don't have to look that awkward after you make it Vanish. But I just really like the Vanish that he teaches because it looks really visual. Like it really does. I don't know why I just whispered that, but it looks really visual. And I do like the Vanish, but that's a drawback to it. Another small negative is that you will have to actually buy more of this material if you're gonna be performing this regularly because what they supply is enough to practice it and get you know a few performances in in the real world after you practice it some, but it's not enough to supply you for tons and tons of performances. Maybe like I said, 10, you know, 12, 15 performances at most around there. So just be warned, you will have to buy more of this stuff, but if you have to buy more, it means you're using it, right? So this depends on how much you're using it. What are the positives about grandfather's spinning top? Well, if you want to get into levitation, this is a great starting place. Personally, I've, like I said, I've never been that into it, but this has made me more into it and less afraid, really. Mainly my concern is that I'm afraid it's going to break on me, which that could be another negative depending on how you're treating it. But the way that Adam teaches you to do it and the stuff that he's supplying is going to work well and it's going to last you for at least a performance when you're out and performing. You know, use these for one performance. Don't, you know, use these multiple times, which you know if you've used this stuff before, you're not going to be using this a ton. Like per, per gimmick that you're making, making, you're not going to use that gimmick a ton of times. You're, you're going to use it once. So if you stick to that, then I think that that's a great positive that Adam has really just created a perfect beginner's piece and a great walkthrough for a beginner in levitation. And if you're a pro at levitation, then this will be a breeze for you. But just so you know, don't be scared of it. 
this is something that you're going to be learning thoroughly if you want to get into levitations. Another positive is I like the plot. I like that after you make it vanish, it's something different. You know, you're levitating something, you make it vanish, and then it reappears on what's been on the table the entire time, or technically in what's been on the table the entire time, which I really like. I think that's a really interesting plot and a little twist you can add to current levitation routines that you do. This is a great way to spice it up. Another positive I wanted to mention is that the bottle cap comes not attached to the top, which means that you can customize the bottle cap and drill a hole in one that you want if you're doing this for like a corporate show or something and you're, let's say you're performing for like Coke and you want to do a trick with a Coca-Cola cap, then you can drill a hole in the Coca-Cola cap and just replace it onto the top. It, it comes not pre-assembled, so all you have to do is just put the top onto the wooden piece so that way it works and there's stuff supplied to do that if you don't want to you know customize it so you don't have to go out and buy anything else as far as assembling the top goes but i just want to let you know you can be customizable with it if you'd like to what's this retail as was well, currently tells us 47 us dollars and is that a fair price okay i'm a little bit on the edge about the price it definitely shouldn't be any more in my opinion but i think that for all the knowledge you're getting about levitation and the system that you're using with this it makes it worth the price if it didn't go as in-depth in that in the tutorial video i would say that this should be cheaper but for the amount of knowledge you're going to get from this and the stuff that you're getting i think 47 is a fair price definitely not more than that but i think that for what you're getting you can deal with 47 dollars what would you give this out of 10 i'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. the reason it's getting that score is because this is a great starting place for levitation and if you already know levitation maybe you'll learn something new about this type of system and i keep you know referring to this system and it's a great thorough tutorial but it really is and that's what makes this product as good as it is in my opinion i mean the routine's great the props are great but as being a product the tutorial video that comes with this is so in-depth and i really love it a lot so combined with the routine that comes with it and how cool it is you get to make it vanish and then reappear I love everything about it, and the reason I'm docking it is because of the negatives that I listed earlier, but I think that it's really cool and it's going to be something that you're using if you're into the levitation plot and this type of system if you're not afraid of using it. So just be warned, I warned you, it uses that system, so be careful. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this review. I really do appreciate it. And if you feel that Grandfather Spinning Top is for you, the link for that is in the description down below. Now also in the description is linked to my Instagram page. There you can follow me on Instagram at Tarlitzer Magic. There are posts behind the scenes, Q&A, sneak peeks, you get to participate in polls, all, all sorts of things like that. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's an interactive, like informative, place which i want my youtube channel to feel like that as well so if you have any questions comment them down below and i'll answer them to the best of my ability as well once again thank you for watching and thank you to volpine creations for allowing me to have this product so i can do this review a few beautiful people out there and hopefully i'll see you in another review that i post sometime soon see ya